Welcome to Interview Pro. I'm back with a new video on one of the useful hooks in React. In our previous videos, we have seen how to access parameters from the route using use params hook. I'll show the example that we took. So this is the UI. We have a link called users in the navbar. When I click on users, I see the list of the users. Click on individual user to see the details of the user. The ID in the URL is displayed in the user details page. Let me show the code as well. This would be a good revision for use params hook. So this is app.js where we configured all our routes. This is, uh, these are the routes for users page and also user details page. Here in the user, user details uh, uh, route, I have a placeholder called ID. And in the users page, I have a link that would redirect us to the user details page using this route. In the user details page, using use params hook, we are accessing ID. This ID is nothing but the placeholder name that I have given in the route. If you have given it as user ID, then you will be using user ID here. So now I have a change in the requirement where instead of using the route like user slash one, I would have uh, something like this user colon user ID equal to one. So let's see how we can uh, access this user ID. Let me make the changes. So now I don't need this placeholder. So let me remove this. Go to users here instead of slash user dot id. Now we'll say question mark user id equal to. Let me save the changes. Go back to users. Now if I click on user id. Uh, we are navigated to user details page and the route is also updated to user ID equal to one. But in the user details page, I'm not seeing the ID. This is because use params hook is not used to access query string. There is a special hook called use search params that is used to access query string. So let me replace this use params with use search params. Uh, now we no longer need this ID. So let's remove this. Uh, so to access use search params, this use search params will return as a variable uh, use search use params. You can name it any way you want, just like uh, use state. So I'm getting the variable from use search params and also a method that would allow us to set the search params. Let me console log this to see what is the data returned by this search params. Go back to UI. Let's click on user one, inspect. In the console, we see an object called use search URL search params but there is not much information useful here except uh, there is a variable called uh, there is a property called size which is equal to one so this size indicates the number of parameters we have in this uh, query string uh, since we have only user id the size is one let's go back uh, so there is something called entries in uh, uh, url search param so if i open the prototype you see something called entries so let's uh, uh, console log what is present in entries. I'll clear the console, click on uh, user, uh, user one. Now we have an iterator. So let's loop this, loop through this to see what is present in entries. For const entry in search params dot entries. Now console log each entry. Now, if we look at the UI, sorry, it's uh, of entry of search parents dot entries. So in the console, we see that uh, there is an array with two values. 
the first value is user id and the second value is one instead of displaying it like an array let's use the array destructure concept so i'll name the first uh, value of array first item from the array is param and the second item is value now let's display these values now we have user id comma one uh, so instead of uh, just a single uh, uh, parameter i'll add another parameter here type equal to admin if i save it and go back uh, let's go to users click on user one now we see user id is one and type is admin so there are two uh, parameters in the query string so this loop runs for uh, two times and it prints the param name and the value of each uh, entry so the first entry has a name user id with value one and the second entry has a name type with value admin now uh, we have to display these values here so uh, we can either uh, you, uh, loop through the entries and uh, access these values, use another variable and set that uh, variable with this value. But there is also another way through which you can access the uh, value of the parameter. That is, let me create another variable. Uh, I'll say id equal to search params.get inside get you can simply provide this name if you want the value of user id provide user id if you want the value of type then provide type so i want user id here so user id now let's display this id as we did before when we used use params now we have uh, the value the id of the user displayed here if i go to user 2 the id will be uh, 2 if i go to user 3 the id is 3 so this is how we can use use search params to access value from the query string uh, we have accessed the value of parameter that is already existing in the route but if you want to add a parameter when you click on uh, a button or a change in the input uh, basically if you want to add query uh, query string dynamically you can make use of this set search params so let's add a button here uh, this button i'll call it the add to query string add query string uh, so this has on click method on click i want to use this uh, set search params to set the query string so i'll simply access this and pass a json value so uh, i want to add um, uh, what i can add maybe new query colon the value of that query um, x y z so let's go back now we have this button uh, user 1 uh, we have user id equal to 1 and type equal to admin in the current uh, url now if i click on add to query string we see that the old uh, uh, query string is gone and the new query string is added so this is how you can add the query strings dynamically using use search params uh, we have seen how to get the values from the query string which is already existing in the url and how to set the query string dynamically so this is all about your search params hook i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you